Hi guys! I just wanted to come on here for a minute and show you guys how to actually change fonts in Canvas because by now you've probably noticed they don't exactly give you options. You're stuck with just your basic font. I don't know exactly what this one is, but it only gives you bold, italics, or underlined. And I am definitely not satisfied with that and some of you probably aren't either, which is why you're watching this video. So let me get into it and show you how. All we have to do is do a teensy bit of HTML coding don't freak out, it's really not that difficult. I promise you I'll show you exactly what to type and it'll work smoothly for you. So let's get started. So here is my Canvas screen. This is just one of my pages. This happens to be my home page. We're going to be trying to edit this, hey everyone, to make it a little more snazzy. So I'm gonna edit. Oh, I should mention, go ahead just in case and copy everything on here just go ahead and do a little copy and paste it in some other document to make sure you don't accidentally lose it because when you're editing code if for some reason you don't put it exactly correct it will cause an error and kind of delete everything so just go ahead and get it as a backup little fail safe for you um, anyway so let's just assume I've already done that and now I need to figure out what font I would actually like to use since I don't happen to have every single font in existence just in the old noggin I'm gonna have to look it up so here's how you do it you're gonna go down to your search bar in your Microsoft type in font it's gonna give you the option for font settings go ahead and click that bad boy and on your computer it'll say available fonts and you will simply find the one that you want I think for me I'm probably gonna do let's see we want something really interesting Ooh, I love Broadway okay Broadway is what I'm going to use um, you can click on it to get more information definitely don't have to because all you need is the name so back to my page dun, 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 dun. here's my page okay so we're gonna go into the old HTML editor this looks super daunting, but it's really not that bad. So you're looking for that text that you're wanting to change. I'm looking for, hey everyone. While it's pretty easy to find it here, if you have a ton of HTML code and you can't seem to find it quickly, all you have to do is hit Control F and then type it in. I already did this, so hey, and there you go. You can see exactly where it is. Close that out, maybe. There we go. Close that out. And here's, hey everyone. So this is where we're working. This line of code. That's all we're touching here. So you leave your P's, that one and that one. Leave those. We're going to start right at the beginning. And I definitely suggest going ahead and putting both of your arrows because we're going to work in between them. And it does help you not to accidentally forget one of them. That would cause a code error. So work inside your two arrows. Now we're going to type in span style equals, okay, span style equals. Now we're going to do two quotation marks. This is for the same reason. We don't want to cause an error. Work in between those. Um, you're going to type font dash family colon, okay, space apostrophe because now we're working inside the quotes and what did I say I wanted to use oh Broadway Broadway this is your name of your font get your other apostrophe and add a semicolon that way it separates your apostrophe and your quotes and that is it see that wasn't that hard after all HTML is not that bad so now you're gonna hit save and when your page comes up you should see your beautiful new font <gasps> look at that we've got a gorgeous little hey everyone the best part is if you go back to edit it you can actually edit that just the way you can edit everything else I'm not sure if this will allow you to bold it just this particular font almost all fonts can be bolded let's see if this will let you yeah it does it doesn't change much you can italicize you can underline you use it just the way you would use any other text now you can change the size if you want and then it says huge and now look how much more interesting that is I think it's worth taking the extra second to just type that in the HTML. Um, one other thing is if you keep typing, um, we'll see, it's a great day. It's still the same font. So you just have to do it for that first line. If you're starting a whole new page, go ahead and write one word, then fix your little HTML, and then you can type the rest of it and it's still gonna be that same font. 
Anyway, I hope this was helpful for some of you guys that are also craving a little bit more creativity in your page. And if you have any questions, of course, shoot me an email. I'm happy to answer it. Um, all right. Good luck. Bye.